I'm Jeff Crawford from Crawford's Auto Repair in Mesa, Arizona. Welcome to my free lessons on automotive maintenance and repair. This lesson is on the internal combustion engine and engine oil. We'll start off with the, uh, this is a picture of the basic parts of an internal combustion engine. You have an intake valve, a piston, an exhaust valve, and a spark plug. All internal combustion engines operate on the auto cycle of events that's invented by uh, Nicholas Otto that's spelled O-T-T-O. -T -T -O. Um, it has to have intake, compression, power, and exhaust. Those are the four cycles that are necessary for an internal combustion engine to work. This is, is an animation that will show how that works. When the piston goes down, it's going to draw air in through the intake valve, air and fuel mixture, excuse me, in through the intake valve and then this valve is going to close. Then the piston will come back up, compressing the air-fuel mixture. Then the spark plug will ignite, igniting the, the air-fuel mixture, creating extreme high heat and pressure. That pressure forces the piston down with a lot of force. Um, the piston goes down. When the piston reaches bottom dead center or all the way down here, this valve will open, releasing the pressure, and the piston will come back up, expending the burnt uh, fuel an air mixture or exhaust gas out of the exhaust valve. I'll, uh, I'll play this animation so you can see how it works. So here we have combustion, intake, compression, combustion, exhaust. And that cycle repeats itself over and over. This animation shows it going pretty fast inside an internal combustion engine at 3000 rpms the crankshaft will be going around 3000 revolutions per minute so it's actually happening even faster than that next we have another animation this is of a diesel engine a diesel engine works the same as a gasoline engine with the exception of there's no fuel coming in the intake valve only air the fuel is injected directly into the combustion chamber while the piston is at top dead center under compression. So a diesel engine ignites the fuel by, by compression alone. The compression ratio on a diesel engine is much higher. The, the compression of the air creates so much heat that when the fuel is injected, it burns on its own. But it's still the same auto cycle of events. We have intake, compression, power, exhaust. I can't quite move my pencil as fast as that's happening, but that's what it is. Intake, compression, power, exhaust. That repeats itself over and over um, you know, 3,000 times a minute at 3,000 RPMs. So, a, a cycle being every time the piston goes down is one cycle, up is one cycle. And that's what they, a four cycle engine requires four cycles of the piston every time to make one power stroke. Next, we're going to go to another simple animation, and this just shows how a crankshaft works and the pistons work. Pistons are reciprocating energy so they're moving up and down and then they have a connecting rod that's connected to a crankshaft so the, these two items here are converting reciprocating energy into rotary energy and in some later lessons we're going to show how that rotary en energy is transferred through the drive line to the rear end of the vehicle and eventually makes your car go down the road so in the start we're starting out with chemical energy converting it to reciprocating energy then to uh, rotary energy. And actually I've skipped one there. We have chemical energy to heat energy to reciprocating energy to rotary energy. So we've converted energy a lot of times there. Next we're going to move on to engine oil and the service ratings. All engine oil sold in the United States has an API service rating. Uh, American Petroleum Institute is what API stands for. Um, the API service rating is found on the back of an oil can. You, you can see it right here. It's always in a small circle. It's going to have a say API service and then a, a two letters typically. Um, those letters mean multiple different things. Here's a better example. API service rating SN and then the SAE number 5W30. We'll, we'll go into the API service rating. The API service rating indicates that the 
engine oil has been tested and that it meets or exceeds the standards of the manufacturer. All, all automobile manufacturers will, will state what service rating oil is required and if the oil that you're purchasing has a, the same rating or higher it's acceptable to use in that vehicle. I'll go to this chart over here. This is a API service rating chart. It shows the dates. So SJ was for cars produced in 1997. Um, SL was for 2001. SM was from the 30th of November 2004. SN. Basically as the, the second letter is going up, it's a more modern oil. As long as the uh, you know, SN can be used in any car produced um, from 2010 and older. Most engine oils that you buy today are all going to have the highest API service rating. Nobody is selling oil that has a lower rating unless it's a recycled oil and even most recycled oils are at the, the highest rating. A lot of people think that you have to use certain brands of oil. My personal opinion and my experience in the automotive industry, if you service your vehicle regularly, that the, the uh, service rating, if it meets the standards for your vehicle and you change your oil appropriately, you won't have any problems using any brand of oil. The, uh, the next thing we can go on to is the SAE rating. SAE rating is simply the viscosity or the thickness of the oil. With older oils, they would be a, a single grade, like an SAE 30. That means it only has one weight. All modern oils are, are typically going to have multi-weights. This, this weight is what the oil is like when it's cold. So when the temperature is zero degrees outside, the oil acts as if it was a five weight. When the engine is at operating temperature, it acts like it's a 20 weight. The higher the, the number is, if it was a 50 weight or an 80 weight, that would be an extremely thick oil, almost like honey or molasses. The lower the number is, look, it would be more like water, uh, much runnier and thinner. The purpose in having multi-viscosity is so that the oil is not thick when the engine is cold and it allows for the oil to flow through the engine much better at cold temperatures. And then when you're at operating temperature, you want to have the correct viscosity as well. Older engines used to use single viscosity oil because that's all that was available. Now we have better oils. It's better to use multi-viscosity oil in all engines, even if you have an old car that says it requires SAE 30 or 40 weight engine oil. There's also diesel engine oil here, which has the ratings start with a C. So if the API rating starts with a C, as you see here, um, that's typically going to be for a diesel engine. It has different... Uh, different detergents and additives in it and it's specifically designed for diesel engines. So if, it, if an engine oil has a C in it, it's designed for a diesel. If you have any questions or if you're wondering what type of oil your, your vehicle requires, you can, uh, you can go to this www.api.org. That's where we got this. It explains the API service rating. And then we have this here came from www.upmpg.com. That's it for this lesson on the internal combustion engine and engine oil. All of this information can be found in my ebook, which you can download for free at my website at www.crawfordsautoservice.com. If you're interested in producing a, an ebook, you can get assistance for producing your ebook from myrexmarketing.com. That's M I R E X marketing.com. And thank you for watching.